we're gonna need a bigger bow. Because this is the all new Lego Ideas Jaws set. Based on the movie, Jaws. With just under 1,500 pieces and three iconic minifigures, this is geared towards the 18 plus audience because it's gonna bring back a lot of nostalgia and the reason why you're probably afraid of sharks. With two ways to display the set and one of the most beautifully sculpted sharks I've ever seen in LEGO, let's get into the details. But before we do, I'd like to say thank you to the LEGO Ambassador Network for sending me the set early for review. Now let's take a look at those minifigures. Up first is Chief Martin Brody, the Amity Island police chief that tries to close down the beach. He does have two different face prints and dual molded arms, which is just lovely to see on a minifigure. Next up is Matt Hooper, the marine biologist, fascinated by sharks and eager to find Bruce. I absolutely love his beanie and hair mold, and I think it captures his look perfectly. He also has two face prints and some accessories. And lastly, the shark hunter Sam Quint. He's the captain of the boat, the Orca, and the reason they almost die in the movie. He just has one face print, but the torso print looks amazing. There's a printed Jaws tile on this display stand that is built sideways using snot, and it looks really clean. You can also fit all three minifigures on here, which is a great option if you don't want to display them on the boat. Now, let's get on to my actual favorite character of the movie, Jaws, nicknamed Bruce. Hello. Name's Bruce. And building this model was impressive to say the least. First of all, this back section is the display part, and these two Technic axles slot into the display stand and can pretty much stay there forever. Then the rest of the shark can be slid on and clipped into place. That way you can display just the shark and the minifigures in a smaller space, which is brilliant on Lego's part. But you can take the entire shark off the display if you wanted to, it's just hard to line up the sockets again without taking off the back back end first and redoing what I just showed you. The jaws of the shark are super well designed with these side teeth attached at an angle thanks to those Technic pins and there's some really well used parts to complete the look overall. Uh, well that's cursed. He has those black lifeless eyes and this dorsal fin that's only attached by one stud, so it tends to get knocked off pretty easily. The other printed parts include the second jaws tile and the quote, you're gonna need a bigger boat. The base plate is nicely covered in dark blue tiles and slopes, and this section back here is to represent the shark's back and the moving water around it. And this is where we'll place the rest of the shark, which attaches just like this. And there's also a yellow barrel over here, which does look a bit small and proportion to the shark. Now let's talk about the orca, the boat that is, which is the last printed piece on the set. And the first thing that I need to address is how bad I am at working with these dang flexi ropes. I love how it uses the droid arms to attach this railing to the bow, but man, I could not for the life of me get those dang sausage elements to quite line up. I'm sure you guys can do better though. In fact, the entire bow of the ship is built like nothing I've ever seen before, and it clips into place like this. There are so many crazy build techniques on this part of the ship that you just have to try it for yourself to understand. Inside the cabin is a table with this map and this newspaper of the shark attack, which are both stickers. There's some equipment, the steering wheel and the throttle, and this desk with a compass and some letters. While you can place the minifigures on the couch, there's no studs to hold them in place, but instead this table practically holds them in place. There's also not enough standing room to have someone at the helm, but you can technically have all three figures inside the cabin singing along, it's just a little cramped. Buttoning this back up, on top we have a really fun parts usage of two of these handlebars to create a big set of jaws of some toothless fish, and of course another steering wheel up top and a searchlight. The next thing to address are these Lego rope elements, which have to be tied on one end, threaded through these loops onto this pulley, and then back down to clip into a mixel joint. And if you're like me, you might have tied them a little too tight, which pulls the mast forward. But I would rather it be tight than too loose. On the side of the ship, there are these really cool spears attached by clips that align them in a very visually appealing way. And on the back of the bow, it's just packed with details from life preservers, a chum bucket, oxygen tanks, this fishing chair, and this makeshift shark cage. The issue with the fishing chair though is that you can't actually set a minifigure on it, so I just stood them up like this. I also really like the ladder build that you almost miss amidst all the details, and of course there are these bright yellow barrels on the bow that they use to help wear out the big fishy. Now finally, to place this ship on the base plate, there's a groove on the underside of the boat to sort of fit it onto the circular tile, and it holds it in place really well. 
Minus a few minor flaws or semi-fragile parts of the build, I really enjoyed putting this thing together while watching the movie. And I gotta say, the movie was better than I remembered. There's such good storytelling. You could probably watch the second, maybe even the third movie before finishing the set, based on how much progress I made in the two hour movie. This set is nothing short of amazing, and I definitely think it's worth the $150 price tag. Having two ways to display makes a collector's life much easier, because this is two feet wide, but you don't have to display it like that, whereas that is not the case for other diorama sets like this. Anyways, I'm curious to hear your thoughts and opinions on the set. Is this one you plan to pick up? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure to hit the like button, and stay tuned for more reviews.